Hello, I hope you guys are all doing great. This is the nail art design we're going to be working on today. Let's get started. We're going to begin this design by working on our ring finger, the flamingo nail. The first thing to do is apply a light blue nail polish. The one I'm going to be using is this light blue one by Icing. I don't have a name for it, but any light blue one will work great. Followed by that, you're going to need to get a green nail polish. I'm going to be using this one by Santi and it's called Vikini Green. I'm going to be applying this one with the makeup sponge. Now coming into my ring finger nail, I'm going to be applying this green polish halfway coming up just over that area. Now I'm going to be applying this glitter polish by Sinful Colors called Smoking Hot over my entire nail. This is the background we're going to be working with. To paint my flamingo, I'm going to be using this brush brand and size right here. The color I'm going to be using to paint my flamingo is this pink one by Americana and it's called Royal Fuchsia. I'm going to begin by painting a little dot then I'm going to bring it around and this is going to be the little neck. We're going to bring it all the way around sort of like we're doing a half heart. I'm going to smooth this out a little bit more. The circle, round it off from the top filling it in. Now I'm going to do the little body. So I'm going to come around and I'm just going to feather it out from the bottom. Just feathering it out and rounding it off. And I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to start off the beak by just applying the white paint. Now I'm going to go into the body area and I'm going to apply some very thin, thin white little stripes. Now I'm going to work on the little legs which are very easy to do. I'm using yellow paint. So I'm just doing a little stripe. Now I'm going to do the other little leg a little bit folded so I'm going to bring it back a little and then bring it in this way towards the other one. I'm going to make this one a little bit longer and we'll bring this one out like a number four sort of. For the little eye I'm going to paint a tiny black dot. Now I'm going to outline the little beak in black. Over the little eye, I'm going to apply a little white stripe just to give it a little more detail. In the center of the little beak, I'm going to apply a thin little black stripe. In the little joints, I'm going to apply a little bit of a coral color and also over the bottom area. This next step is optional. Around my flamingo, I'm going to be adding these pink glitters. You can see here how it looks without them and here how it looks with them. It's just an optional step. I'm going to apply top coat over my entire nail and I'm just going to begin applying the glitters. And that's how you're going to get the ring finger part of this nail art design done. Now let's move over to the French manicure part of this design. I'm going to begin by using the same light blue nail polish I used over my ring finger, except this time I'm going to be creating a French manicure. Now I'm going to be applying the green nail polish to the very tips of my blue French manicure with a makeup sponge. I'm going in halfway up my French manicure and I'm only going to be applying it to that area. Now I'm going to be applying the glitter polish by Sinful Colors called Smoking Hot over my French manicure area. For the next step, I'm going to be dipping my fan brush in pink paint. I'm going to come in sideways and I'm just striping the very sides of my French manicure coming in towards the center. I'm going to be coming in one last time just to make the stripes a little bit darker.
Now I've dipped my brush in white paint and I'm going to be going over the two sides again coming in towards the center. Because this is acrylic paint it's no big deal that we went under the French manicure. All I need is a little bit of water to clean out that area. That's one of the reasons why I love using the acrylic paint so much. And there it is, nice and clean. Next I'm going to be using the pink glitters to outline my French manicure. I'm going to be applying top coat over that area and I'm just going to begin applying the little pink glitters. Your last step is just to apply your top coat sealing in your design, making sure again to get all the corners so that your manicure will last longer and this will also protect your nails from chipping and peeling along with your manicure. And that's it. That's how you're going to get this nail art design done. It's very simple to do and very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and try out this nail art design using your favorite colors. Be safe and I'll see you next time. Bye!